Hello there. Today we will go through the top Google Colab tips and I will be talking about how to use editor shortcuts within Google Colab. So there are some very cool keyboard shortcuts you can use to speed things up but uh, let me introduce uh, you to this. Uh, you probably already know this if you use a Mac you have a command uh, a command uh, uh, key on your keyboard or if you use uh, Windows you have a control key if you use that with uh, uh, along with uh, a, s a specific key called uh, your letter M which I remember by calling it the M for modify so you can modify cells within your Google Colab uh, uh, it actually gives you a little bit of power to speed things up. So Command M and one more key. Okay, so Command M and A will give you the uh, ability to add cells above your current cell. So you can add cells, code a code cell above your current cell, or you could add that code cell below using Command M B B for below, as you see. Right, A and A above, B for below, that's how you remember it. And Command MD to delete that cell. So I use this quite a bit, especially when I make mistakes within the Collab environment, the Google Collab environment, which is actually pretty cool. Just uh, It's a Jupyter Notebook hosted uh, in a Google on the Google Cloud, and it's easy to iterate on code. So when you iterate on code, you have to delete sometimes, you have to add, and you know, you get the idea. So let me go straight into the Jupyter Notebook itself. Um, Let's see if we can get that on. There we go. So I have this thing and I was, you know, recreating one of my notebooks which I have already hosted. Uh, I guess it was hosted on Azure's notebook and it's not working anymore. So I'm going to try this again. But anyways, as part of the authoring of this notebook or editing, you know, I have to uh, add stuff, right? So I have to add new code. So if I have to add code, let's say, and underneath this thing, let's say this is another code, print, uh, something right new and I said okay I'm gonna print new I need to add um, one more code cell underneath it so remember the code the, the shortcut key command M B see I just added that cell the code cell if I want to add something above this I click on that cell command M A and that cell comes above. If I want to delete that thing, if I don't need it, I just go Command M D. So you get the idea. Three commands: Command M A for above, Command M B for below. If you want to add a code cell below the current cell, and um, if you um, have to delete it, just do Command M D. Uh, so that has a that uh, gives you that uh, top three commands which I use and let me go back to my uh, let me go back to my uh, other presentation there so there we go so these three are very used at least and there are some more keys which you can give a sh uh, give a try and I'm not going to demo that out right now just these are for your reference and you can try that out in the class uh, which I walk through typically for kids uh, or you could go into um, your Google Collapse uh, environment and try this out yourself, is these three commands are Y, which is when you have to convert a text cell into code, you try Command M Y. If you want to, uh, if you want to convert a code cell in back into text, uh, or into text, you do Command M M. And this is very useful if you know how to um, figure out all the shortcuts in one go you do command M H and that's uh, let's see if I can do some of this right now maybe it's a good idea to just try that so command M H see all the shortcuts come up you can uh, look at all of them in one go right there are lots of shortcuts you can uh, give that a try if you wanna convert this thing into code if you remember command M Y and that has come ordered that into a code cell and if you wanna go back to command M M M it's converted back into a text cell. So that's it for now. Let me wrap this up. Thank you. I guess I have to go to my uh, QuickTime library. Sorry, QuickTime.